Sagittarius, this is your reading for July 2024. Um, before I start, if anybody would like a personal reading or a Skype session, all the information on how to book is in my website and the description, uh, the link is in the description box below. Okay, so we're looking at Sagittarius. I've got the Fool coming up in my head, so this is a brand new journey for you. It's got a lot of legs, so it's like um, there's a lot of elements to this brand new journey that are coming up. It is a race that you're going to win, they're saying. Uh, you're going to be, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of stuff going on for you this month, right? A lot of physical stuff in the sense of um, communications, maybe meetings, setting uh, to-do lists, agendas, organising, uh, getting to grips with things that you've maybe put off or haven't um, engaged with for a while. So um, it's like you're reconnecting with your world of work in some way. I've got you as well kind of st in a room and you're like pointing upwards and you're talking to someone. It's like you're planning a whole like renovation project. So m maybe not in a house, but like renovating your whole life, basically. You're like, I want this changed. I want that changed. This has got to be done. Um, I, you know, it's like sealing the deal, basically. In t terms of like why you're doing this, it's to be in your power. They show me the Ace of Wands. It's to show that you're going to have complete control over your physical environment, but in a very physically directed way. So, you know, we do talk about point of attraction and everything coming vibrationally, but we do have an ego as well. And, you know, to utilize that ego is to be really creative with how you think about things and how you plan things and to be very sharp, they're saying, with your brain. And, you know, it's like you're going to do things and you're going to be picking the right person for the job. Or you're going to be making the right decisions and it's going to feel really good in your head. It's going to, you're going to feel like really satisfied because, of course, the thinking focus, uh, feeds into the vibration that feeds into what you bring yourself. So you're going to be feeling like you've, you know, got a good job done and you've you thought it out and you chose the right implements for the work that needed to be doing and that kind of thing is coming along quite serious in terms of inside your head um, and they're saying don't delay so if there's something you've been putting off uh, maybe it's something you know like you've got to get some work done in your house or something that you you know it's like oh I don't want to do it it's going to be too much trouble it's going to be like involve people <laughs> coming in and that kind of stuff it's like this is a time for you to just like they're saying take the ball by the horns get a grip of it get it done because whatever it is that you're being asked to do that keeps like push, like knocking on your door, you've got to prove yourself by doing it, they're saying. So go, just go along with what higher self is asking you needs to be done because you're assisted in everything you do and you're protected. So you've also got to just get on with it so they can show you how easy it's going to be in opposition to how difficult you think it might be. Right, Sagittarius. They're saying it might hurt though physically. Somehow you're going to have to like lift heavy things, maybe, or you know, it's going to be like it's going to feel like oh, I'm tired now. Something you know, like a, like a lot of work. All right, so we've got seven of cups coming out, which is emotions. So maybe it is emotionally. You know, you've been thinking, feeling like I don't want to do it. It's like too much trouble. It's going to be a pain, right? <laughs> um. And then we've got three of cups, but we've got joy coming from it. So the resu result that you're going to get from it is going to feel really good. It's going to be like, I've done that. That's brilliant. It's out of the way. Now I'm clear with that. And I feel really good because, I, you know, it's no longer hanging around and I'm, I'm being asked to do it. And like they're saying, it will be a lot easier once you get on with it than you think it's going to be. Knight of cups, which is love coming from it. So you are going to maybe go towards something that you feel doesn't, is going to make you feel bad, right? But because you get it done, you're going to feel good. And remember, love brings love. So if you're feeling good because you did something, then what you're bringing along from that feeling good is everything else that feels good. So you will, there is celebrations and joy just that you did it. 
Um, it's meant to be done, whatever this thing is. So once you get it off your plate, it's going to be like nothing happened. It's going to be like, well, that was so easy. It's, you know, it wasn't the disruption I thought it was going to be. And um, like nothing ever, like nothing was ever, it's like nothing after it's done, they're saying. And then it's going to bring more love. Um, something completely different in the Knight of Cups. Six of Cups, we've got reunion energy coming out for you. So in terms of Twin Flame process, whatever it is that needs to get done, needs to be done. Because your reunion can't come until this thing is done. <laughs> or things. I mean, they're, they're saying busy, busy month. So it might be multiple things, July. Strength, so harnessing the strength of your vibration to make sure this, this is both sides of yourself, right? Higher self and ego, masculine and feminine. So again, it's being guided to use your ego in a very functional and fulfilling way. So whatever it needs is you need for the job is going to show up. So it might be that you're looking online and you find exactly the right company. You know, this is something that has caused you doubt and fear. So it could be that you've known you've got to get whatever it is done and you've not been able to find the right person and you're like, well, they're just not out there. I've looked, I've thought about it, I've tried half-heartedly, I feel, <laughs> right? Um, but this is the time to get it done and what it is you look for, you will find, they're saying, whether that's a person or a tool or a, some kind of, you know, this could be anything. It could be like getting your computer defragged and back up and running or something like that. But I feel very, phys you know, it's something physical you've been putting off. High Priestess, which is Higher Self. So you are being guided by Higher Self to get the job done because of your reunion, which is here. And it's employing both sides of yourself. So it's how it's going to fulfill your destiny is by creating a lot of power inside your shared vibration, the energetic union, if you want to call it that. So... Your masculine also feels empowered, as you feel empowered, but you're the one that's got to do the thing that's going to bring this sense of empowerment to you, because you feel it, they're going to feel it. So, and you're getting them up off, they're saying you're going to get them up off their lazy bed, <laughs> right? So it's like the masculine needs to feel that they've got the wherewithal to like move forward, to like leap into action, to like make a profound move, right? But they can't do it until you make a profound move. So whatever it is you're being asked to do this month, you need to, that's why you're being asked to do it. So again, your guides are saying, don't delay. Get Take the uh, horse by the reins. Start to steer the ship towards your destiny. It's time for you that, you know, it may be as well. You just haven't employed your ego for a long time. It might be that you have been guided to let go and like do nothing and suddenly all of a sudden it's like all hands on deck and you're being asked to like you know engage with the physical world and it's been a long time since you've done it something like that in terms of like what's been asked for your twin flame process um things are going to shift very quickly once you do this thing in terms of your twin flame process they're saying so whatever is else it is you've had to do in the physical world up to this point that hasn't shifted your twin flame process and has made you feel um, half-hearted about doing things, that's going to shift. You're going to come into a lot of strength and power, right? and so will your masculine after you've done it. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, which is completion in the physical world, right? So something that needs to be done and finished. And uh, to be honest, this is only because of twin flame process, whatever it looks like from your physical eye that, you know, you could be like emotionally, oh, well, my life is just about getting this thing done. And, you know, this is like, I don't want this. This is not what I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to have twin flame reunion by now. Right. But this is that reunion. It's just an aspect of the reunion. However much it doesn't look like it, it is. So this feeling, once you've completed this project, whatever it is, you are going to realise in the High Priestess that it was easy to get on with it. It was easy to get it over. Once it's done, it doesn't even appear you did anything. 
you regain your strength and your and you're back and you're in higher self after using your ego and you're like <gasps> like you are in your power even more because you are mesmerized by the power of your own higher self in in charging you giving you the option to use your ego so it's a very powerful situation however mundane it might look from the physical aspect king of wands is the power of the masculine Right, so it's the vibration of the masculine that you are feeding power to by whatever it is you are asked to do so that they feel fully in charge of their life so that they are able to like rise up and use their ego productively and of course that ego takes them back to you because they are ego because they are masculine and employment of the ego is what they are here to do and to feel in charge of that right and not to feel like they want to draw the curtains on life and hide away but to feel like they want to pull the curtains open and step forward into a brand new life right with you so that's where it's all taking you this month to a sword which is ego <laughs> so you've got the emotions here right that come from the ego but this is all the masculine strength masculine and feminine so whatever it is you're feeling inside of you in terms of like you don't want to get up and do this thing it's the, what you're feeling there is the feelings of the masculine that you're connected to and them not wanting to get up and do this thing. And the thing they don't want to get up and do because they're not in their power is contact you. <laughs> right? So when you do the thing that brings you into the power where you've used your ego and you're feeling better because you're in power over your ego and you've got up and done that thing, then they're going to be in the power to get up and do the thing that they've got to do. So it's all about your twin flame reunion even though it might look like just decorating a room, <laughs> you know, or something like that. Or it's not going to be as simple as that. It's going to be like getting the decorators in because there's other people involved because it's about you being in charge somehow. So it'll be about you having a meeting maybe or doing an event or a production of something or, um, you know, something that looks like it might be tricky, but it's going to turn out a lot easier than it looked because it's guided. So it will and then Hierophant, which is relationship, and that's underlying everything, so it's your relationship to the physical world and how you are part of the physical world, right, and engage with the physical world, and take it as that you can have and do whatever you want in the physical world, and it's all going to turn out all right for you, you know, rather than like, oh, I can't do that because it's going to be really difficult and I don't want to do it, it's going to cause a lot of pain and I'd rather put it off. And if you're feeling like that, that's the masculine coming through you. And if they're feeling like that, how are they going to contact you? So it's you saying, no, no, I can do this. I'm going to get on with this now. It's definitely got to be done now. And I have no fear of doing it. It's them, therefore, feeling exactly that thing as well. So it's your relationship with them energetically, which is a strength. It's a relationship inside of you with your own ego, which is the same thing. And the strength of that. And it's just a very get up and go, get up and do it attitude, right? That you're being guided into this month. All right, so I'm going to leave you with that, Sagittarius. Lots of love. See you in the next one.